Gundam kind of fans, and welcome back to another episode of Mo uh, Mobile Suit Unicorn Gundam. This is going to be episode 14, Clash of the Two Unicorns. <clears throat> Do we finally get the fight that I've been waiting for? Because I love to see these two actually fight without, you know, spoiling myself like I kind of did earlier in the franchise because it's, you know, reasons. Anyway, though, let's see what happens here. It looks like they're still doing their bullshit with the brainwashing, and it's it's stupid. It's... Uh, it's the one thing that quirks me about the whole series is how they do that shit and how casually they do that shit, too. Like, it's not like, oh, yeah, one person, it's like, oh, no, we have a whole bunch of people in line right now. And it's like, what? Anyway, though, if you're liking my videos and you want to continue watching this and continue on the adventure with me, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, your family. I don't know, sit your dog in front of your screen, make them make some comments this time, you know, make them an account, you know, first step, make them an account, make them like and subscribe, then make them comment. It could literally be just a, I don't know, a, 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 a paw matching. Anyway though, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one. Yeah, they really fucked with her. Yeah, she's definitely put U12 now because all they were designed to do was take orders, pretty much. Literally, they had no free will. They were just there to take orders. That's how Glemmy wanted it. Bright don't seem to like these ideas. <clears throat> Dang. Well, I mean, he is kind of like the father that raised her, so that's what he wants. They, they, they even the, the, that, the brainwashing just messes with people. Same thing with Four, same thing with Mur Maria, or whatever her name was, I can't think, because it's... <clears throat> They didn't quite explain how they got a uh the unic or the banshee. Like I thought the unicorn was unique. Or are they gonna explain that later? They probably are. I mean he doesn't want to kill. That's kind of been the whole issue, is that he's really conflicted. Yeah, this guy right here is about to get ahead of himself. Yep, this is what, what goes on every single time. Now what is he going to do with her? <clears throat> And now his is triggering as well. Because it's sensing a new type. That's what's happening with it. That's why it's transforming here. Because it's a new type destroyer. I get it. I understand. I mean, yeah, these guys are not as... They're, they're, they're no different than Xeon was... They mess with Marietta again. They're corrupt as hell. Like, you could tell. No. That was a big old no.
Oh, he's going after her and not Mar Marietta. Okay. So he's got the uh, unicorn to stop reacting to the banshee. Now this is the scene that I've seen. I'm not gonna lie, this is what I've seen. I have a feeling he is not gonna make it. Ooh, that's a very blown up suit. Is the Banshee really that much bigger than the actual unicorn itself? Or is it just because it's transformed? Because I know in like the models it gets taller as it, when it transforms. I mean, Bonanji kind of would. Dang, dude got denied so hard there. Oh, it's a different color this time. Is he turning into the green version? Maybe? But that was a whole, like, color change. Or is it still red? Okay, it's still red. Oh, this is very, very cinematic and pretty. Yeah, he, he he's gonna get revengeful. It's how it works. The little boy downstairs got denied. Oh, it's such a wholesome moment. Then we do a little bit of something we don't see. She transfers probably onto the ship. Oh, he's going to hate all Gundam. He's going to be that guy. Oof. Oh. Oh. She just clamped the cockpit. Is he dead? Because that's always death for pilots. Oh, there's that Peru in her. That glummy programming. Yeah, they even have it tied to her head. Like it's a whole different like ballpark for that for the you know for the banshee. Oh. Oh. He lost his daughter. That's why he's not gonna live. They're showing too much. Stop with the showing things. No, no, no. Don't do this. Glemmy. Oh, God. Why does it have to show Glemmy every goddamn time? And there she goes. I see, that's why he named her that, probably, is because it was after his daughter. Oh, goodness. Because it's, it's very similar. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The feels, the emotions, the everything of this series is so much. It's like, every series before was like, oh, that's sad. That's terrible. This one's like, 
we're gonna raise that to a 10 because we actually have, you know, we know what we're doing now when it comes to the anime. Because back then it still felt like, all the way up until, um, what was it, probably till, even Charge Counterattack, all the way till they made, um, MS Team, which was the last series if you're watching my videos that I watched. That one still felt very old school anime. This one feels very new school, very cinematic, very emotional. Like, all of it's a lot, like, it's taken to a 10. Everything back then was still emotional and things, but it wasn't as bad. But now they, they've learned how to make it better. And you're seeing that, and that's what I'm experiencing now. So I guess we'll see what happens with her, him. I have a feeling he ain't gonna last long because they're showing too much. The one thing in anime, when they start showing them other than the main character or main characters, like in One Piece where they show the main Straw Hats, if they show anybody else's backstory and they start showing it too much, it means they're going to die. It's, or at least a high chance they're going to die. So, anyway, I guess I'll find out. If you're liking this video, hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and again, I'll see you in the next one.